The Zacks Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zacks Rank Buys. This is Brian Bullen, and I am the aggressive the growth stock strategist at Zacks, and we are doing an aggressive growth buy. Today, we're looking at two stocks for your aggressive growth radar screen, and it's all about gas, not me being full of hot air and what you're thinking. No, it's natural gas, and we're talking about uh, methods of distribution, transmission, all that great stuff. The natural gas is uh, very important to the economy. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the crazy things that are going on in that space right now. Well, let's just jump right into it. Uh, our first stock is Chinery, 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 Chinery. Uh, you know, people like to say this word differently. Some people say tomato, I say tomato. Uh, but Chinery Energy is uh, the often pronounced way. Uh, so is tomato, just if you're keeping score at home. And its ticker is LNG, which I have put all these little bullet points around right there. So LNG, and that stands for liquid natural gas. Uh, it's a Zach's rank one, number one, strong buy. And it's got that A for growth, which just about all of my aggressive growth videos will have. A's in the growth. Uh, C for value, because growth investors and value investors are inherently looking for different things. And that's why I like to see different things there, different uh, measurements there. Sometimes they're the same, but uh, not all the time. Now, this is a rather large name. We can see that here via the market cap of the company, uh, nearly $40 billion. So not your small cap, not your thing that you're used to kind of getting out of Zacks here. Uh, nice little divvy here, uh, almost 1%. Uh, looking good on that front. And uh, expected EPS growth is super solid, super solid. Is that going to have something to do with why? This is his actual right number one. Well, yes. Well, what is uh, Chenery Energy? And this is liquid natural gas. And so this is natural gas that uh, can then be shipped uh, and, and taken in these in these uh, uh, different looking ships that uh, have a big two big balls kind of like in the middle. Uh, and uh, some people say that they're floating bombs. Somewhat correct, uh, but not all the time correct. Uh, but let's just take a look at this stock for its own merits. Boy, and Brian did not line this up properly. Please forgive that slight. Uh, let's go look at uh, reported earnings history. That's why I like to look at this first. Can well, can management communicate with Wall Street? We see a no two quarters ago. They didn't do that good of a job. Uh, you know, it might be a little bit pandemic related, but then the energy kind of compound just kind of just went crazy here. But uh, analysts have kind of caught up to it. Um, so we've got two beats, two misses. We've that's not necessarily the greatest thing. But why is this a Zach's rank number one? Well, because we've gone from 273 to 331, even though we're a little step down there, uh, 291 to 379. That's a that's your move next quarter. Things are going to – how about that? Who knew things are going to get cold in the third quarter uh, for the fourth quarter report or fourth quarter? Uh, 1549 to 19. <laughs> that's another – Another super move. And next year, we're not uh, as bullish with the earnings estimate moves. But boy, oh boy, things moving sky high. I'm going to cheat just a little bit of what's coming up. But you can see right here, obviously, mega earnings forecast growth on the year over year. And maybe a little bit of a pullback. That'll be interesting to see. And moving up because of the, 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 the sales, sales estimates for, for the full year going super high. Let's take a look at our valuation, and then we'll talk just a, a random thing about this. So eight times forward earnings is just great for an energy company. And look at, at that top line growth. Woo, baby. I'm in love. Uh, 165%. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm going to go. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to lose my I'm going to lose my my marbles here. Margins so soaring. Love to see that. Uh, we don't have a price to book here. Uh, the price to book on this is difficult because it's just these ships. Price to sales, you're 1.5. That's nice and low. Uh, but boy, you, you, okay, so we're talking uh, great growth, low forward earnings multiple, outstanding margin improvement. Boy, oh boy, everything I love to see in a stock. Let's take a look at the chart here and then just do a little quick talkity talk. Yeah, just like that, baby. Mm, just like, I like it like that. Straight up, up, and away. So what's going on? Why why are we talking so much about natural gas? Natural gas, uh, something that's been around for, for a very long time. Um, 
But, you know, lately there's been this man-made crisis of, hey, you're not allowed to use natural gas. Well, natural gas is going to be used no matter what. Uh, that's, that's a breaking news uh, to some people because we need it to generate electricity. Uh, that, that I know that's kind of crazy to say. Not everything is going to be done on nukes. Nukes are the most efficient way, one of the possibly of, of the of fossil fuel sort of area, right? Uh, but natural gas coming in, uh, you know, next, a, a very clean source as opposed to coal or really oil. But, um, you know, people are all up in, in arms about uh, the world uh, getting super hot, turning this whole place into Miami. And I get it. Not everyone. Some people like snow. Um, but here's the deal. All these uh, cars, all this transition to electric is still going to require these places to, to do this. Uh, there, there's also this idea of Russia uh, not going to giving your gas over to the, the other parts of Europe. And that has really made people worry about this winter. Another man-made crisis, worrying about the winter. Here we are. Uh, I know it's 2022, but some people are acting like it's 1622. They'd be worried about the winter back then. Uh, and that's the last time that they should have been worried about the winter. Well, maybe maybe the 1700s still. All right. So anyway, uh, we can see the, the, these numbers just straight up here uh, with this concern. Uh, so that's why we're talking about this. And they, they basically will ship your natural gas right over to Europe from wherever else they can get it. Uh, boy, you're going to need a lot of ships to do this. And most of the ships are under long-term contracts. But that doesn't stop investors from piling in after this regardless of the fact that there's kind of a not so great earnings history as we can see here. All right, so that's why we're talking about it. Let's let's go to the next one, which is basically the same sort of deal. Um, and this is Golar LNG and GLNG is the ticker. It's a one as well with a strong buy and an A for growth and a D for value. And that gives me that growth divergence that I love to see. A uh, strong uh, style score uh, for growth and a weak style score for value means that we're on the right track. Uh, when we look at this name here, look at these beats. Boom, boom, uh, boom, and boom. But uh, all those, I love seeing them. I love seeing beats. Um, I like to think of them as W's for my Ohio State Buckeyes. All right, so 26 cents. Ooh, that's going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. But this quarter, woo, 27 cents to 45. Big movies up. Uh, 56 to 89. Nice. Uh, 87 cents to $1.36. That's good, too. I like all of it. Well, let's cheat on this one as well since we cheated on the last one. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what's going on here. We got a negative 20% on sales for this year and next year. That's big time contraction and declining earnings. Huh? And then wildly expanding earnings. Huh? Well, let's just take a look at our valuation numbers. Now, quite different scene here, uh, 31 times, pretty rich given our, our space. And yes, there was contraction on top. Still uh, a gigantic uh, price to sales multiple. Price to book right at just about one. So your value investors are gonna be happy. But look at these margins. Look how big the difference is here. And the improvement. So uh, revenue can slow down, but they're, when you have operational efficiencies, as you can see from here, this is big. That's why I switched to the big one, totally accidentally. Uh, that's when you, you get to, to see earnings move higher. All right, so let's look at the chart here, and we can see this one's a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, that, 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 that was kind of, this, this whole LNG thing was not so good of an idea into the pandemic, and then, oh my God, yeah, it's gonna be cold in wintertime. Who knew? And uh, Europe needs gas, natural gas. A lot of places need natural gas, but Europe is going to be uh, maybe paying through the nose. Maybe who knows what they're going to do uh, in any event. Uh, that's what's going on with natural gas here. It's moving up in anticipation of a cold winter. And that was such a ton of fun. I hope that you guys all come back next time that we're on when we look at two more aggressive growth stocks for your aggressive growth radar screen. But until then, let's go make sure you go ahead and go to zax.com slash promo for all our very best promotions.